Hi everybody, welcome to Paint and Party Go for our September boxes. If you haven't figured it out already, it's bees. Bee artsy, yay. Well, I hope you love the supplies that came in. Um, I really had fun picking out your little glitter paints for this month and your yellows and blacks. Um, sadly, my black hasn't come in yet, so I'm using, I'm just gonna use the yellow and one of my other blacks to do the video, but it'll be the same thing that you guys are doing uh, you're doing with your supplies. You should have your little watercolor pads. So about the same as what I'm gonna do for my for my bees, my examples that I've sent you. I'm just using a, a bigger sheet and some cheaper paper. You've got the thicker paper in your kits. Uh, you've also got your uh, a pen for marking around if you wanna highlight or anything like that or outline. Some people really love the outlines, some love the uh, the really soft flow of the watercolor. So um, experiment, make them however you want to. Hopefully you got your little Be Artsy vinyl. You can put that on a on a laptop or a book or whatever you like. Just uh, take a peek at the dark, excuse me, early afternoon hiccup. Um, the directions are on the back. So hopefully you can uh, work those out. Something from the Cricut machine some treats and goodies. So um, all the bees in the background are the ones that I'm gonna include in your boxes as well. So uh, hopefully one that you see is one that you have uh, have in your kit. I did draw out a couple of bees ahead of time. Notice you've got your uh, honeycomb flavored pencil. Tried to stay in theme. Uh, I'm gonna just sketch a little guy out at the bottom here, but then we'll go up and we'll mess around with some paints. I'll show you how to use your koi pen and your awesome Chinese um, water pen that, that is just super easy when you're wanting to do uh, watercolor and you're on the go and maybe you just have your paints and your paper towel and your pen and you don't wanna have a bucket of water or a cup or anything like that and you've got it filled with water, ready to go. Um, quick trick for my bumblebees, um, not all shown, but especially like this guy up at the top behind my honey, uh, they remind me of a, a little bit of a lima bean. So don't go crazy, don't do it too dark. I'm doing a little darker so you can see it. But go ahead and, and do a little lima bean shape. Um, give him some gentle wings. And the awesome thing about doing watercolors is once you fill in some water and you start adding the paint, you can let it flow and blend and mix and create all on its own. You don't have to you don't necessarily have to do a lot of blending. You're just uh, just letting it do its own magic. Um, so I did a lima bean. I did just some gentle ovals, shapes for his wings. And I've done some very, very simple little curves so I can have his little white bum and his little black stripes. And his, yeah, you can do black on the face, yellow, yellow. Um, you can add more. You can add more lines if you want to. So have a little have a little fun with that. If I do decide to ink, it'll be at the end. Um, and that might just, just be some accents. I didn't even put feet on a flower on that little bottom guy because uh, I just really want to play around with it. So I'll give you a couple of tips on our koi pens so that you don't have to go through what I did trying to figure out. These ones, I know how they work. Um, the trick when you want to fill it with water is twist it backwards than what you're used to. Fill it under the sink, and then you're twisting righty tighty to you. But I, it's it's opposite than what I'm used to if I was gonna fill something. So uh, that is that. Now this one, and sadly I've buried my water in the background, so it's behind my bees. Uh, this is full of water right now too. So if you're twisting. You can see this little part, a little stopper will rise up once you spin the right way. And so that's gonna push the water out the top and you can crank it back down. But how you fill it, put it in upside down and put your tip into a little bowl of water. And then you're actually twisting. I've twisted, twisted mine down to start it. And then as I twist it back up, it suctions the water from the bowl into your container. You can also do it with ink if you wanted to use this for something different. So 
don't try and take parts apart because I've already done that for you and that is not how it works because I've never used one of these before so I just thought they were really really neat um, and again the water is with you pretty pretty handy so I'll, I'll play with that one again in a second I'm gonna I'm gonna start my wedding down and start just using a little bit of the yellow I have a little black set off the side because again mine mine didn't come in you can do a little dropper get some water flowing through there use whichever brush grabs your attention but I'm just dripping on a little water onto onto my bee I'm only doing the the shape of the body I'm not doing wings yet and again if you've got other colors other watercolors from previous paint and party go kits obviously you can do blues and purples and all sorts of colors like I have uh, in the display ones that I've sent you or you can just use the colors that I sent uh, in the box in this month's box so just taking a little yellow off and you can fill in really carefully you can just kind of go near your lines we'll do the golds and things at the end I'm gonna probably use those for the wings okay and I put lines in but hey I don't really do well at staying in the lines so you can see I'm kind of already skipping around and you can do it a little droplet rinse it off a little bit on your paper towels get rid of the yellow I'm gonna sneak over to my other side get some of my black okay, and so I've since I've wet it if I stay where I've already wet it the the black will stay in that fine line on the left but it's gonna meet up with my yellows and start to mix and change maybe you'll get some greenish shades you can add you can add little outlines little shadows little drags and of course I can go over this again in a little bit if I want it to be darker but boy oh boy just watercolor just relaxed it just kind of flows and moves around the paper and um, you know, you don't have to have those really harsh, fine lines if you don't want to. Of course, you can use your color-wise, you can use your golds and things. If you're doing flowers, you can add greens if you're wanting petals and things. So you can start to see him appear. Maybe I just want just a little line. So his back end, you know, you can do a stinger if you want to. Just Google bees, art bee, or uh, bee art, or look on Pinterest. You'll probably see a bunch that I that I saw. Hopefully my little flyer that I include has some examples that inspire you. You can wipe off the brush. You can dunk out some of the water again, too. Just give it a squeeze over your paper towel. It's kind of fun. You don't have to be constantly dipping in your water. You can let this whole thing dry and then do some color around the back, around the edges. I probably did a little bit too much water there. I'm just gonna drag and wipe. I just didn't want it to drip out of his body, but it, it seemed to actually hold pretty well on this thinner paper that I'm using. Thanks for viewing, by the way. This is still Lucy. Working on your paint and pretty go upcoming boxes. I really had some fun doing this one. They're super sweet little guys. I'm gonna jump over and actually switch my paper towel. Just gonna let him dry so I don't have all my colors Sorry, I moved him right off the page. Um, so I don't have all my colors mixing too much. Let's uh, let's try this big guy, because it's just a neat, neat brush. All right, I'm gonna do a little twisty. Let's see if we can get some, oh, yep. Yeah. So there's my water moving. That's a big brush, but it's got a nice, it's got a semi-small point to it. I mean, not the tiniest, but you can definitely fill a, fill a bee in. You 
you can see just a nice dip of yellow and boom we've got we've got some color you can still always have a, a container of water around if you don't feel like you're getting your brush clean enough you can interchange you can do the big brush for yellows um, smaller brush for the black try and keep your points nice and you can always wash it afterward you don't have to do soap and water but you can just do a little a little water oops paper towels save me as usual I hope you enjoyed uh, the August box if you've seen the video that was one I tried to push that you if you had your kids using it that uh you would assist them only because of the cutting blade and things for the printmaking. Don't want any boo-boos. Giving it just a little drip of water. It was getting a little dry. Didn't have to dip. Ooh, apparently I'm making a making this little antenna. Of course I did the whole Got a little summer inspiration for saving the bees. Hopefully you're doing the same. I don't think I'll become a beekeeper, but uh, you know, trying to make better choices. So at least got to have fun and work on these little guys for you. And uh, well, you know, honey, and what could be better except if I happen to have Nice loaf of bread lying around. And keep giving him a little dab. Yeah, there's something, I don't know, something very soft and soothing about the watercolors, especially if you take them at more of a relaxed view versus, uh, you know, trying to do a barn scene or something really, really intense. Just a little critter, a bunny or a bee, kitty cats, whatever animal seems to be hanging around your house. If you're here in Montana, it's a bear. You never know. And uh, September is actually our one year anniversary of Peyton Party Go, so I'm gonna try and send some some surprises and such soon and thank yous to my folks who have been subscribed for a year now with me and done all 12 months thank you so much and to my newbies who are telling friends and making art and still sitting around in their pajamas making art and relaxing and just being creative with us I totally appreciate it I hope the themes are coming through and giving you some new inspiration each month. Obviously, if there's one that you want, shoot me a message. I'm on the uh, Paint and Party Go pages on Facebook and Instagram. Love to see our unboxing videos, but love to hear from anyone who's absolutely just crazy about uh, the new boxes. I've also got some new kids ones on there and a date night one on the shop on on uh, Crate Joy, so take a take a further peek where you registered and you'll find some other goodies. Don't want you to miss out on anything. So there's a couple of couple of bees and he's still drying. So that's another reason I like to do a couple of uh, watercolors at the same time. I'm gonna wet this third one down. There's some really cute, just little cartoony bees out there. If that's your style, go for it. If that's, uh, you know, there are people who just are immediately attracted to that scene, get it attracted, bees. So, I don't know. Maybe that's not a funny one. I think I laughed in my head a little bit. But, uh, you know, your style is your style. So if that's what you want to be doing, don't feel like you've got to make these... Uh, medical 
sort of illustration version bees that have every little piece of hair and fuzz. I mean, if, if it's a cute little cartoony bee with a happy, happy smiley face, then that's what you paint, that's what you draw, that's what you make. Now there's not as much water in my brush, so this one's really starting to dry out. I'm gonna push just a tiny bit more water through, and if the if that's not your thing and you just wanna have a little bowl of water nearby, well, you can use this brush. You could probably use brushes I've sent in previous months. Uh, any of the acrylic ones that we've used, I mean, as long as they're in pretty good shape, you can use them for, for watercolor too. We'll see if we can get this top guy to at least dry and we can give him some sparkle on his wings. You've got uh, you've got the different shades of golds, a little white, and I know they're just little mini ones. And that is because I don't want you to feel like you've got enough paint for a year and 500 paintings and, you know, it's sitting around, it's not getting used, just create if it runs out. Try something else, but that's why you just have some little accent colors. Oop. It would help if I could remember where I've got the paint. So we're coming to you from Helena, Montana, in case you didn't know where your boxes were coming from. Having a great time finding bits and pieces to make new themes. Not sure what I'm gonna do yet for your October theme. Still thinking. Hopefully not just a straight Halloween deal because that's really not what we do. I'd like to change it up on you a little bit. Surprise you. Elephants for Easter months and fun things like that. Just change the Change the expectation. Okay, well, he's looking pretty cute and fluffy. Which, as anyone knows, because I have sugar gliders and chinchillas and even hedgehogs who are not fluffy, but they're still cute in my shop. So if you're a, a, a Helena customer, you already know something's going to be fluffy in one of my scenes. All right, so he's got lots of little legs going on. I'm gonna set that brush aside. Actually, I take that back, cleaned it. And now we're gonna just mess around. And you may have to just drop a little bit of water from a clean brush on each of these. Just let it sit. Oh, that is just gorgeous. So they're, they're a little bit damp. You'll have to let them dry really well before you move them and, you know, clean up, but these are just divine. I know I haven't gotten to play with them yet because I just got everything else done for supplies coming in and so I haven't even had a chance to play. I'm trying them with you guys. How cool is that? Yeah, these are just, there's a darker coppery one. I'm not gonna lie, I want about a gallon of these now. can streak lights and darks. You can rinse off, do a little dab of your whites. Because we've agreed we like our, we like our sparklies here. So again, you can't probably see the total shimmer like I can in the video, but your, uh, your gift paintings that are in your boxes will show some little uh, little sparkly touches. I think the I think the ones that I've sent you just pop amazingly. So so you have your yellow, your black. You'll have your little your little shimmers, your two brushes, and of course your pencil to start sketching. So I'm gonna let these guys dry for a second. Do a little do a little uh, pen. Of course, my pen is not the one that I thought I had. 
Well, you would think it was a Monday or something. Uh, you have a you have a fine, awesome, awesome. My favorite favorite pens, uh, Microns. So waterproof, uh, along with your brush and your goodies. So again, you don't have to you know necessarily do a full outline, but maybe just some some little wispies maybe on on the outside of his tail. Again, if you've got to have that uh, stinger, <laughs> you can do that too. If the water's still wet, you may... Water is always wet, people. If your paper is still wet, you may get some of it flowing into your paint. So, you know, if that's something that might frustrate you or it's not what you're sure you want to do, just let your, let your watercolor dry before you add any more. Um, yeah, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous set of colors. It doesn't have to be a solid outline, maybe just some little flicks. Um, and I will put some tips, um, that you've probably already seen on your little papers. Um, your design flyer. You can give him eyes and things too if... If you want him to have a cute little face. I was going more traditional, so I did not give my guys faces. Um, but yeah, hopefully my little, my design flyer will give you some, some tips. Um, and the video here. And then experiment, of course, as always. You know, my theme is bees, but if you want to do dragonflies with these colors or... Just anything you can come up with, with your golds. You can just do the flowers. You can really, really outline him, you know, around the middle. If you don't want him to be so soft, you can put some, some pretty hard lines in between the stripe colors. I'm sorry, my footage is not always the best for here. I am slowly working on uh, my recording area if you can if you can call it that it's something at least I don't know really what I should call it but um it's a little bit of little more color on these and again if you do use your your little shimmers and you've put some water in them uh to paint just make sure they really really have time to dry because otherwise they're going to ooze and you're not going to have any in then we're all gonna cry. But I'll have to look for some of these. I could, I could spend some time with these shades for sure. So I hope that gives you a little bit of an intro to our fun, be artsy watercolor set for September. Hope if you're doing school kickoffs and all that, you're a uh, getting this in time for the first Sunday um, that the kids have gone back to school and you can let them do homework and you can go hide out and have a coffee or a mimosa and paint some bees. Put some music on. Obviously, I've got mine in the background. I like a little new age piano music on Pandora to uh, keep me going. Uh, you can do... Before I forget, you can do a little gold on his actual body or a little shimmer. Because, you know, they're pretty sh pretty special little guys. So, again, hope this gets you rolling. Please uh, leave me a note if you watch this um, or if you have questions, anything like that. Love to hear from you. And uh, tell some friends about the boxes. Love to be shipping these all over the country by this time next year at our two-year anniversary uh, and any help is appreciated make sure ten, the folks tell me if it's you that passed my name on and passed on paint and pretty go so I can send you a thank you and on that note I will take off I was gonna say buzz off see I uh, it's just awful. I know. I'm sorry about the jokes. They're they're even worse when you're in the shop. But I hope you have a wonderful day. I appreciate you coming 
to hang out on YouTube and watch me paint little buzzy bees and uh, talk to you and see you for our next video. Have a great day. Signing out from Helena, Montana. Paint and Party Go. Bye.